Okay. Hey, YouTube. We are headed to the movies. We're going to do a review on the D-Box seats. Okay, because it is high as hell. It's six of us. So, it took me two hours to buy the ticket, but we're going to give you a review. Okay, we're taking the babies, the kids. And so, they're going to do a review, too. Oh, some rattle blowing. Confuse me. But anyway, we're going to let you know, is it worth the money or not? You think about for a scary movie. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, like the seats where you be scared. I like those seats. Good. So, Elijah, what did you think about the D box seats? I thought when the movie first started, it was all cool, but then when it kept shaking me, I felt like I had to borrow. You felt like you had to borrow. What about you, Trey? What did you think about the D box seats? The same as the regular seats? No. Yeah. Huh? Kind of the same, but the vibration uh, messed with my eyes a little bit. You know, it's hard for me to see. The vibrations messed with your eyes? Yes. Were you wearing this mask? No. <laughs> what about you, Tay? What did you think about the seats? Um, I thought they were okay. They were kind of soothing, which made me want to fall asleep. Would you pay twenty dollars to sit in that seat? Probably for like a scary movie, like you said. I agree. And yeah, that's it. That's okay. But for cartoon movies and other movies, do you think it was worth it? No, it's kind of more like a rocking chair. Rocking chair. I think I like the other seats better. Did you? The normal recliners and seats? It really doesn't matter to me. I like it. It doesn't matter at all. Okay. <laughs> So tell me, what did you think about the D-Box seats? The what? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But, well, what's the name of them? D-Box. D-Box. I don't get that being the name, being the best name that they can come up with. What did you think about this? <laughs> this is a long got video. I got you. All right. First, I mean, they were regular seats. You gotta stay in the camera. Kinda make you feel like, you know, like you're at home a little bit. But then your seats making, doing a lot of moving around. Do you think they were worth $18 a seat? I mean, in a way. But, I'm thinking, how much was that piece? 18 I guess so. I mean, the ticket, shit, a regular ticket, I thought it'd get up to like, oh, the long guns up into the moon. I thought they, I thought they were like 10 Oh, two people used to be like $20 and some shit like that. About 17 Okay, but, so you liked it, the D box seats and think they was worth the money. I mean, I guess you can't really argue with that. You sitting in a big and lean bag. Well, the other, what, you never experienced the regular seats or recliners in which you could sit next to the person and lift the arm. They still got the. Yeah, but we went, we got the D box seat. What did they used to have back in the day? Back in the days, you were just going back 20 years, they had regular seats then. I guess I'm just not a picky watcher, but... Yeah, it was if you would have had to pay the $100 for the family, would go, <laughs> would you be satisfied? I'm, I'm cool, then I expect the person to be, you know, a little different at movie theater, but... Like so food. you're saying I got everyone, on the food. everyone <laughs> so, should go You need to expect, yeah, I mean, if you want. If you like, I mean, but you need to expect if you're going to the movie. You don't movie, want to look at the camera at all? If you expect when you're going to the movie that you're going to, you know. We're not talking about going to the movies. We're talking about the seats. It wasn't, yeah. I, I would, I mean, if that's the price of them, but shit. You like them. Thank you, Mr. Tommy. They had a little audio. I wouldn't even say that they had more audio. 
They did a little too much. Probably was that movie. The movie was alright. It was too much for that movie. It was just yeah, they trying to trying to impress us with the damn seat. Yeah, it was just rumbling for no goddamn reason. Just rumble, rumble. You turn up, that motherfucker gonna rumble. If you gotta remind you of somebody kicking in your seat, <laughs> you don't know if you get up and be mad or just sit there. Okay, so my review on the D box seats. They were okay. The first 30 minutes was fine. A little shaking, a little tilting, but it wasn't like a, ooh, I feel so into the movie. No, it wasn't. But it did add a little, okay. At the one point, it was too much shaking. You're trying to pay attention to the movie. It just felt like somebody was hitting your seat, and you're, it kind of threw you off. But if you are watching a scary movie or a suspenseful movie, I would get it again. Otherwise, for no. I think the recliner seats, the regular ones, was more comfortable. Because after a while, it was like then I was trying to eat my popcorn and it was shaking everywhere. No. Then my daughter got nauseated. It just didn't know when to stop shaking. Like they tried to overdo it for scenes that really wasn't to be done. So we went to watch The Incredibles 2. But on the suspense part, it made you have feel a little scared. And this was Incredibles 2. So if you was watching a scary movie or a suspense movie or some kind of whatever, it's good. But otherwise, it's not worth the $18, 20 to see. Just my opinion. Or they need to, you know what, no. It would be worth it. They need to make the technology of those seats a little better. And that is all.